Hi. If you're a fan of the TV show Scandal like I am, you may have noticed that they introduced the term dog whistle politics into the show this week. Now, unfortunately, when TV takes a term like that and uses it, it has a tendency to trivialize it and render it less compelling. However if, however, if you've listened to the video of Ian Haney Lopez explaining the origin and history of dog whistle politics and the use of racial code words to inject racism into, a, into political discourse in a way that seems benign but in fact is insidious, then you know there's a lot to that term that should concern us. I've asked you this week in your discussion to analyze the development of racial code words in politics through the lens of Daria Rothmeyer's description of how racist behaviors and attitudes get embedded in institutions and, sy and systems like politics. You know, as we enter into a new political season, my hope is that this week's discussion will heighten our awareness of racism and how it is part and parcel of our political system and is something we need to be alert to and call out when we see it. That's one part of the scandal episode that was worth following because they called out the dog whistle politics, the use of code words to put down uh, an African-American woman. And when we see racism, even in seemingly benign code words, we need to call it out. I look forward to our discussion this week and learning together with you on how to notice and then to confront dog whistle politics.